two flying machines, both real, both personal. But one costs $128,000, and the other costs $880,000. So the real question is, what are you actually paying for? Today, we're breaking down the Volanaut Airbike versus the Jetson one. And by the end of this video, you'll know which one actually makes sense. For decades, personal flight was just a dream. Too dangerous, too expensive, too unstable, but something changed. Materials got lighter, motors got stronger, software got smarter, and suddenly, flying vehicles stopped being science fiction. And what you're about to see proves we've entered a completely new era. This is the Volanaut Airbike. No wings, no cockpit, no compromises. It's designed to feel like a flying motorcycle. The design strips away everything unnecessary. What's left is raw speed, agility, and freedom. This isn't built to be comfortable. It's built to be unforgettable. And that experience comes at a price. The Volanaut Air Bike costs around $880,000. The Air Bike isn't trying to be practical. It's not about daily commuting. It's about performance, adrenaline, and pushing limits. Minimal frame, open design, maximum thrill. This is the kind of machine people send to their friends with one message. This is insane. Now let's talk about the Jetson one, and this is a completely different philosophy. Instead of speed and exposure, the Jetson one focuses on safety, control, and accessibility. If the airbike is a superbike, the Jetson one is a flying safety pod, and the price reflects that. The Jetson 1 costs about $128,000. The biggest difference between these two isn't speed, it's philosophy. The airbike is open, the Jetson 1 is enclosed, the airbike prioritizes agility, the Jetson 1 prioritizes stability. So let me ask you this, would you rather feel free or feel safe? The Volanaut Airbike is for pioneers, early adopters, people who want to experience flight in its rawest form. The Jetson One is for real-world users, training flights, controlled environments, and gradual adoption. Different users, different goals, same future. So why does one cost nearly seven times more? You're not paying for transport, you're paying for experience. The airbike is exclusive, conceptual, emotion-driven. The Jetson 1 is structured, repeatable, and designed to scale. This is where opinions split and that's what makes this comparison powerful. These machines aren't competing, they're testing different paths to the same future. One path is extreme, one path is controlled, both are necessary. The question isn't which one wins, it's which one comes first. So if you had the choice, would you take the $880,000 Airbike or the $128,000 Jetson 1? Drop your pick in the comments. No explanations needed. If you want more future tech comparisons like this, make sure you follow along, because this channel is just getting started. The future isn't coming, it's already flying.